I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You're back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. And the danger is over? The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. to Valroyo immediately, to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe he is guilty. The prisoner failed. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result insofar as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. We lost everything then. Out of nowhere, you came. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
Does it trouble you? It stops spreading and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly you have something in mind. We do. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you, a mage, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading, which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? It's a little unsettling. <laughs> I'm sure the Chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. Will the Chantry attack us? With what? They have only words at their disposal. And yet, they may bury us with them. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald.
Hilda von Draste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. Everyone's a little nervous around mages right now, but you'll get no backtalk here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but... They won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not apostate. I do not think they care, Seeker. We are not Templars. We mean you no harm. Doesn't look like they're listening. It's done. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, 
but I will do whatever I can. 